Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to share with you the books I'm planning on reading in the month of June. All right, so similar to last month, I'm going to have a, I mean, I'm looking at a stack of books here, let's be real, but all things considered, I feel like it's kind of a minimal TBR for the month, but I do have some buddy reads and stuff planned and I have a couple of books that I just really want to read. So this is the reading plans for June. So the first three books that I'm planning on reading are actually going to be a buddy read with um, me and a few of my friends, um, Christy, Linza, Linza, oh my goodness, Christy, Krista, Lindsay, and Sarah. I got it eventually. Um, from Books and Jams, Lindsay's Little Library, and Sarah's Nightstand. The four of us are planning on reading through the entire Shadow and Bone series. So um, I've read this before. This is going to be a reread for me. But I recently watched the Netflix adaptation and loved it. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And so just like the rest of the world, went out and purchased the whole box set as well as um, uh, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Um, and I'll talk about that in a book haul. But we are planning on reading through the Shadow and Bone trilogy. So that is Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. So these are all very glossy, very reflecty, but yeah. And like I said, these will be a reread for me. I am of the group that really enjoyed these the first time I read them. I know not everybody shares that sentiment. I really enjoyed these. So I'm thoroughly excited about just like binge reading through this series. I don't know if we'll get through the whole thing in June. It may go into July, but we're just going to kind of read through them. Um, the first one though, Shadow and Bone, will also um, fulfill the Read Your Bookshelf challenge that Chantel at An Intentional Life hosts. Um, and Because the challenge for June is to read a book with an animal on the cover. So there you go. Stag on the cover. Winning. So those are the first books I'm planning on reading. I have two other buddy reads planned. Um, I'm going to be reading Night The Night Tiger by uh, Yang Zi Chu, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I'm going to be reading this with Danny at Spinelli Speaks and Stephanie at, is it Miss or Mrs. Richard Reads? Um, so I'm going to be reading this with them. This, I didn't really know what it was about. I had hauled it. Danny had hauled it. We're like, hey, let's read it together. Um... And I was just reading the back before this and I'm like, whoa. Um, so it sounds, it's based about, uh, based around Chinese culture and it has a lot to do with like murder and gnarly things like that. And so, um, missing fingers and the under, the, um, like not black market necessarily, but kind of like, it sounds like mob boss kind of stuff within the Chinese culture. And so I don't know. We'll see. It says, um, it has something about in here about men who turn into tigers. I don't know. So that's going to be an adventure, but that's going to get read. And then the other buddy read I have planned is um, The Bookshop of Yesterdays by Amy Meyerson. Um, this is one that I'm going to be reading with Amanda at, I'm trying to remember her channel name now, Reads and Write, Reading and Writing, The Reading and Writing Life. I'll put it down below. Um, and I'm sorry, Amanda, for screwing that up. Um, but I buddy read Firekeeper's Daughter with her. And so, and I really enjoyed buddy reading with her. And so when I hauled this in my thrift haul recently, she said that she had this on her TBR too. And we both put it on our TBR. I purchased it. She put it on her TBR. It was cover by. Neither one of us know what this is about, but it's covered in books. And I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? Am I right? I feel like I'm right. Um, and then I also have two middle grade books that I would really, really like to read. They're both um, part of my most anticipated releases. I have one out from the library physically. I have the other on audiobook currently. Um, but the first of which is Finding Junie Kim by Ellen O. Oh. This is about a Korean girl who I think as part of like a class project has to interview her grandparents and they start talking to her about the Korean War. Um, and so I really, really want to read this. And then the other one that I have on audiobook right now for my library is um, The Look of the Titanic by Stacey Lee. Um, and that is about um, a set of Chinese siblings who are on the Titanic. 
um, and kind of it's based, kind of, I guess, on this newfound evidence of 11, I think it was 11 Chinese or people of Chinese descent who were on the Titanic and survived. Um, but at the time, the U.S. still had their law that didn't allow for Chinese immigrants. And so they were actually like deferred to one of the Caribbean islands, I think, when the rescue took place. I don't know. It just sounded really fascinating. So um, I want to read that too. And yeah, that's it. Those are, those are the books. So I have my three YA, a couple of adult books, a couple of uh, middle grade books, and we're going to call that good. So that's what I'm planning on reading in June. Um, and then everything else will just be mood reading. And the nice thing about this is like, other than these two, like for sure buddy reads, I mean, my group of friends that's reading this, like if I start slacking a little bit, they're not going to be upset with me. I know that. So that's more of a fun read. And then these other two books are just for me. So if I don't get to them, I don't get to them. My TBR is never anything that I hold like hold fast to, but this is just like, what's on my radar? What do I really want to pick up right now? And this is what's calling to me right now. Um, so yeah, and I may even start on some of these here in the next couple of days. When I'm filming this, I have a couple days left in May. So who knows? If I finish up some of my other reads, maybe I'll dig into, you know, some of these middle grade books or something. I don't know. So anyway, if you've read any of these, I would love to hear your comments about them down below as always. What are some books that you are really in, like looking forward to reading in June? And that's going to do it for today. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya. Thank you.